Good afternoon, everyone. This is Elizabeth Colvin with Single To Do, and it's travel time. You know, the summer is approaching. It's time to get out. But I, I just want to share five points, some of the things that I do when I'm traveling. And one of those things is I do my research, research on the location. Where do I want to stay? Secure transportation like Uber, Lyft or any type of transportation network business. Or I decide if I want to rent a car and if I want to rent a car, you know, how many days you know, if I want to get insurance, just things like that. I try to plan before my trip. Number two, I review the CDC guidelines for their requirements whether or not I need to have a mask, whether or not I need to take a vaccination before I leave, you know, whatever the requirements are. Sometimes you have to actually complete requirements either the day before you return to the U.S. So you need to check that. Um, photograph your documents. Make sure you have a copy of your passport, your ID, your vaccination card, so you can keep that in your safe at your hotel. Number three, plan your day. You know, this is vacation. You're supposed to have fun, you know, but at the same time, don't over plan. You know, at least, you know, try to schedule one day for rest. And so you can take in the culture so you can read reviews and, and just decide what do you want to do in a very calculated and planned way. You can also use open reservations for hotels where you actually schedule in advance through a restaurant's website. Um, sometimes they'll just request two, but I even select two even if I'm traveling alone um, because I may have some an accompaniment of a person that may just say, you know what, I want to join you for dinner. It's always good to have those type of things done in advance. Four. Have a checklist for, imp you know, important gear that you want to take with you, like medicine and and any type of, you know, prescription drug that you may need for like motion sickness or even things you, that you normally use over the counter. Any type of pain reliever, bandages, you want to make sure that you have those things. Invest in good luggage. You know, I usually pack with a backpack that has a lock. It also has cups for my water bottle and an umbrella. You know, I even use a solar charger. My backpack has a USB plug. If you're interested in purchasing a backpack that has those type of devices, you can visit my website, singletodo.com. You know, and also good insoles. Sometimes I purchase a brand new set of insoles before I travel. I get the little four ounce containers for, you know, cleansers, disinfectant, and I put that in a little Ziploc bag, something that's not caustic where you can travel with that. And the fifth thing is that I travel light. It's nothing worse than having cumbersome equipment or heavy bags. So in my backpack, I usually take a little smaller bag for evening attire or even a wrap that I can easily fold up. So if it gets windy or if it's breezy or rainy, I have some extra covering, you know, outside of a jacket. But, you know, don't pack expensive jewelry. You know, I pack paparazzi jewelry. I'll take, you know, maybe one um, really nice bracelet that I might wear the entire time of my vacation or my trip. But you know, vacation is about relaxation. So just travel and pack safely and learn how to use the safe in your room where you can feel comfortable when you're having to, you know, put your wallet in a safe. It's usually a programmable um, number that only you will have. If you don't know how to use it, ask the hotel. I'm sure that they'll be able to help you. But for now, enjoy your travels. Do it safely. Um, again, I'm Elizabeth Colvin with Single To Do. Please look at our website. We have lots of fun events that's coming up. And be safe again. God bless. Bye.